Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. In this video we will troubleshoot why you can't ping your Amazon EC2 instance. Being able to ping an EC2 instance is a fundamental connectivity test, and if you're unable to do so, there are usually some underlying issues that need to be addressed. In this video, I'll walk you through a step-by-step -step process to help you identify and resolve the problem so you can get your instance up and running smoothly. The first step is to check the status of your EC2 instance in the AWS Management Console. You can do this by navigating to the EC2 service and locating your instance. The instance should be in the running state in order for you to be able to ping it. If the instance is in any other state, such as pending, stopping, stopped, or terminated, you won't be able to establish a connection. Make sure to start or restart the instance if it's not in the running state. Next, we need to verify that you're using the correct IP address to ping the instance. In the EC2 console, locate your instance and click the instance link. On the instance summary page, identify the public IP address of the instance. Double check that you're using the right IP address and try pinging the instance again. If you still cannot ping the instance after checking instance state and IP address, we need to review the security group attached to your EC2 instance. Security groups act as virtual firewalls, controlling the inbound and outbound traffic to your specific instance. On the instance summary page, go to the security tab. Locate the security group associated with your instance and click on it to view the rules. Look for an inbound rule that allows Internet Control Message Protocol, or ICMP traffic, which is the protocol used for pinging. In this demo, our security group has only one inbound rule that allows traffic from the resources attached to the same security group. There is no inbound rule allows ICMP traffic from the Internet. That's one reason we cannot ping our instance. Now. Let's add one inbound rule for our security group. Click Add Rule. For type, choose All ICMP IP4. For source, choose Anywhere IP4 to allow all IP addresses to access your instance. This is just for demonstration purpose. In your production environment, it's recommended setting security group rules to allow access from only known IP addresses and apply the least privilege best practice. Click Save Rules. Now our security group has an inbound rule for all ICMP traffic. Once the rule is in place, try pinging your instance again. Another potential issue could be with the network access control list associated with the subnet where your EC2 instance is deployed. Network access control lists are another layer of security, acting as a firewall for the entire subnet, unlike security groups, which are applied at the instance level. Back to the EC2 instance summary page, click the Networking tab, locate the subnet ID, and click the link to open the subnet where your instance is deployed. Click the subnet ID link. Go to the Network ACL tab. Here you can review the inbound and outbound rules in the network access control list and ensure that there's a rule allowing ICMP traffic. In this demo, our network access control list allows all inbound and outbound traffic. However, if your network access control list is blocking ICMP, you'll need to add inbound and outbound rules to allow it. The final step is to review the route table associated with the subnet where your EC2 instance is located. The route table determines the network traffic flow to and from the subnet. Still in the subnet detail page, go to Route Table tab. Review the routes in the route table and ensure that there's a route that allows traffic to the internet. In this demo, we have a route to 0.0.0.0/0, which points to an internet gateway. So this route table allows traffic to the internet. If your subnet route table is not configured correctly, you'll need to update it to allow ICMP traffic to reach the instance. After performing all these steps, you should be able to ping your EC2 instance from the internet. In this video, we covered the key steps to troubleshoot why you might be unable to ping your EC2 instance. Remember, security groups control traffic at the instance level, while network access control lists control traffic at the subnet level. 
Both need to be configured correctly to allow ICMP traffic. Additionally, check the subnet's route table to ensure there's a route to the internet and validate that you're using the correct public IP address to ping the instance. If you're still facing issues, you can contact AWS support for help. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to my channel for more AWS tutorials. Also, let me know in the comments below what other AWS services you'd like to learn more about. Thanks for watching.